my uh, yard. I gotta do a load tomorrow, aluminum. I'm gonna process everything, stainless steel, get all this out of here. And then, um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven appliances here. I got four at another location. I got a big the double door fridge you saw, another fridge, a stove, and a pop machine. So, I think I got almost a load and a half for sure, I would think. This thing I have to take apart, it's just lots of stainless steel on it. You can see it's a pretty big load. It's a lot of material here. So, I plan to go out later today anyways. I'm going to do an inspection in Vancouver. When that's done, I'm going to do some uh, scrapping around the area. So like this. It's all stainless steel, I can't believe it. It's commercial, like, you know, it's heavy duty. Hopefully I can unscrew it all nicely, we'll see, but definitely gonna try. At least clean up a little bit, right? So I can unscrew this stuff here. All these little screws will come out. As long as no, no uh, steel rivets, then I'm okay. Otherwise, I have to grind everything or drill it. Big commercial mortar here. Looks to be copper, but just judging by the color of it. I'm gonna pull that out. I'll clean as much as I can off here. If I could sell dirty for, if I clean up a little bit better, 30 cents I think, a pound, dirty. But I'll clean up, I'll see what I can get clean off it first. Um, okay, that's what it's. I'm going to check this lawnmower out first, see if it works before I cut it off apart. Because it may work. If it doesn't work, then that's it. Just chuck it. Okay, that's it for now. Okay, do an inspection here. It's an old, old house. Let's do a little walk around. Looks like it had a suite in the front. The rental suite and the rest were one family, top and bottom to back. Hmm. This weird house is half here, so it could have been two suites here. Of course, I look like it wasn't like up and down, but you never know. It's a bit of addition back here, I would think, somewhat. Landscaped yard. That looks like almost like huh. weird stuff around here. There's Buddhas and kinds of weird things. Japanese themes. Out in the back, yeah. yeah. These skis would be good for a scrap aluminum. So it's an old time house, and they put a sun deck in the back and built close to the bottom in. Okay, I don't have the key for the front uh, section, I'll have to get the key, but I got the back section. Must have pulled something out of here. Wait, looks like, you know... This is kind of cool here. It's an old fridge door. But it was made to go on a wall, see that? Kind of cool. I don't know the scoop if they moved out or not completely, I'm not sure, but a few things in the house here. The washroom here. The, the uh, tub is taken out. Pretty 
straightforward. Another room here. This is typical old style home. If I look here, I can see asbestos insulation creeping down from the attic. Let's see. I don't know if there's a little mantle there or not they took out or something, but you can see that material there. See it? Looks like gold gravel. That'd be vermiculite. So, old piano here. And these things almost look like an instrument they were making. It was a really hard wood. Like a super dense and very heavy hard wood. It's an instrument they were making. I think, it, I think it's a Chinese instrument, I believe. Piano. Another room. I guess there was one big open area and they put a wall between. And this was the porch, original porch. They, they opened it up. Let's go downstairs. A little dingy staircase. I'll bend your head down. The bedroom here. So there's, like I say, this was not a little kitchen down here. So the suites on the other side. This party upstairs. A picture here of sawmill scene there. As you jump it up and down to go to your washroom, these stairs. That's your bathtub right there. Hot tub. Kind of like a this bench is kind of cool here. I don't know when we're having that. Pretty, pretty decent drawers on it. This would be a nice piece to have. Hmm. So pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna have to um, probably open this here to get to the other suite. I think door here or something or I have to get the key so I'll try to first see if I can get in here without the key otherwise I got a bunch of people okay so that's it pretty, pretty straightforward basic old creepy old dive okay hey. phone the owner he's coming here to unlock the basement suite and he said I can have this bench here so that's awesome it's a nice bench. So I'm going to take off these two screws here. I think there's only two screws holding it. And a little bit on the back here, actually. But, uh, I can't get it in otherwise. Let's take these few screws off. Look at an awesome looking bench. Really hard to get out, so I had to twist it back and forth several times. Really tighten that little room. So that's a good score. So I'm happy about this. Lucky the wife helped me carry it out. She's got a bum knee, so it makes it hard for her. Oops. Okay, it should come out. Oh, it's not even moving. It's holding it. Oh, got two bottom screws. So 
a real nice shelf actually. Our workbench. There, that's better now. Kind of put it in now. Got it Start in. Work. Hey, Mighty Scrapper, wouldn't you wish to have uh, something of this? Cool. Awesome. Happy with that. You just never know uh, nowadays what you can get, right? But he says he's happy it goes to someone's home, right? Versus leaving it behind. But it's a stack ton. Stack on. Oh, yeah. Stack on. Okay. Awesome. It's in here. Perfect. I'm happy with that. Okay, he should be here in a few minutes and then we'll continue. Finish the bottom suite. And I'll be done. Okay. Action. Took me a long time. Almost four hours. Crazy. That's a big, big wheel here. I end up finding a couple of jacks. Can I wear jacks? And a couple of ski poles. The buzz around a little bit more just around this area. I head home, I'm kind of tired today, so we'll see how it goes. Broken clothing rack. Still the same block. Endless trash everywhere. No cord. No, but there's a screener here. Screener. Lots of bottles here. Bag of bottles actually. Huh. More bottles here. It's awesome. I really like bottles, but uh, like wife, give them to the wife, anyways. She likes them. Okay, um, more metal. A beer can. Another piece of metal here, too. Found a few more bottles uh, another spot. Okay, but the night's gonna be over. More stuff. You're gonna have to go back and drop the stuff off. This is uh, the burner. Little microwave here. Somewhat taken apart. The transformer out. This is the other part. It's got a super thick cord on there. I wonder where my real cutters are. Ah, oh, they're here. Perfect. I'll grab this cord off here. One's cord's missing. This one's still on. This cord. Big cord. This one's easy. Just a little in there. Not 
cut that off. There's two pots up the road here. We'll grab them right now, straight ahead. Two stoves, right? Two stoves, yeah. Two pots on the side there. Hello? Finding bottles? Yeah. Good. Here's three pots here. Hmm. Um, is there something for everybody, huh? Bottles for there, those people. Scrap metal for me, so two stoves. That's awesome. I'll have to come back for that, that's for sure. Oh, I saw, saw this. The water dispenser. Stripped apart. Hmm. I'll put on that side. Left it all together. Okay. Some stuff here. The barbecue. Water dispenser. I'm hoping to put the barbecue on top of this thing here. Move this chair. Try this thing down. Like that. Take your hand. Up here somehow. The handle's in the way, it's too wide. Well, then I gotta put it in this way then. Oh, second. The handle's in the way. This. It's not gonna go. Talking about the handles in the way, like I said before. This water dispenser. Funny, I just got a water dispenser it was taken apart. I'm gonna have another one here. This one's quite heavy. Heavy. Okay. There's a little table there and a few things, but this guy here. Okay. I can't believe the amount of garbage, how fast it adds up. It's dope. Don't smoke a dope around here. It stinks. Okay, I want to see if I can bend this table. One second, you can bend this table. Sometimes you bend it and it falls apart. It's an umbrella here, I can grab that umbrella at least.
Oh, there it is. Fighting with a stupid thing. I'll throw this in. Of course, I didn't bring no, no saw. I'll just make a note of this one. I know the area. This thing keeps falling over. Okay, let's keep moving on. So funny, two water dispensers, one taken apart, one completes. Just like that, huh? Two stoves, just like that. Okay.